We've had a crisis team in Washington County for a long period of time. Clinicians that are able to go out and assist law enforcement. But what we found was that the crisis team just wasn't being accessed by law enforcement. Often law enforcement was frustrated because we couldn't get there fast enough, or we couldn't communicate as much as we wanted to, or they didn't know we existed. It wasn't until I began working patrol that I began to realize how much mental health issues are just a constant part of patrol life. As I talk about mental health response and how we addressed it here in Washington County, everybody perks up because it sounds like such a great solution for the entire nation. We've had a deputy um, stationed over with our mental health program as a liaison with the sheriff's office, um, Jason Leinenbach. And, and one day he um, tapped me on the shoulder and said, um, hey, I have this idea. What if we were to put a clinician in a car? Um, is that something that you'd be willing to support and would you be willing to fund the clinician? And I thought it was a great idea. I remember deputy saying, you're gonna do what? And I'm pretty sure mental health cl clinicians on the other side were saying, uh, no, we're not going to ride in car with a deputy. What we learned about each other is we both expect accountability in our programs. We both want to serve the community and we both want the right outcome. I think it took probably just a couple shifts to see the benefit of having a clinician in the car. The goal of both mental health and law enforcement is helping people who are in need of help. So by putting the clinician in the car, we were able to have that immediate um, clinical expertise to help resolve the crises. It was such a great success right from the beginning that we then later expanded it to um, two clinicians um, seven days a week and then doubled that later to two clinicians twice a day, seven days a week. The clinicians are very talented at safety planning, at deciphering at a more detailed level whether they believe there's an imminent threat to this person or other people. And it does a lot of diversion. A lot of people that I would have taken to the hospital automatically when I was on my own, I find that the clinicians do a great job of building a safety plan around them, building follow-up with them, and we're able to utilize less resources outside of our team when we do that. The people who the team is responding to have benefited because they're getting a very skilled crisis clinician and a very skilled law enforcement deputy or corporal. The toolbox that they bring is just much bigger than either one of us by ourselves. They have more opportunity for problem solving on scene, more opportunity for preventing further crisis and connecting to services. What we hope that this team will be doing is being able to prevent future crises. We do a lot of proactive outreach. Um, we do a lot of follow-up. It's not we see a person once and then we're done. What we try and do is solve that immediate crisis and then do follow-up and help people get connected to the services and supports they need. Ultimately, I think it's um, a much safer model for the community. I think there's less use of force. When deputies and supervisors who are on the street doing the really tough job know that mental health response team resources are on their way, everybody can slow down. We believe that the public's confidence in our ability to de-escalate and address the need with our mentally ill is up. Our calls uh, are up, and I think that's part of a reflection in the public's confidence. I believe not just the Sheriff's Office, but other agencies have bought into what we're trying to do here. And they're seeing that the old way of doing things is being changed and now it's working getting that buy-in from everybody, even at the state level, is really encouraging. This MHRT uh, response model and our involvement uh, with, with them has, as frankly, it's changing protocols. Uh, we're much more aware of the different ways that we can address mental health issues. I think that this collaborative is fantastic. It means to the greater community that we are really recognizing the needs of some of our most vulnerable citizens. I'm incredibly proud of this program. I think it takes a lot of work all the way up through the systems and how they have really been able to figure out how to combine two completely different entities and really have made us one entity. I think it brings comfort to families. I came to know about MHRT through Washington County Crisis Line. Margot had moved here from Southern California in August and uh, was having difficulties getting used to being in this area and just spiraling down. 
had a suicide attempt. Just due to unclear thinking and improper medication, I made a poor choice, and that's when my mom came and found me and called 911, and the mental health team responded along with deputies and fire and paramedics. For me, it was a lifeline. They were so supportive. I don't think I could have gotten through each of the situations without their interaction. I look at them as heroes. I feel I might not be here if it wasn't for these men and women. I really feel my suicide attempt might have been complete. These men and women are doing such an outstanding job and service in the community that I feel I need to step up and do my part by starting to take care of my mental health and my physical health and my chemical dependency. I don't want to jeopardize what they're working for. I don't ever see us running out of calls. It's a constant and perpetual thing. With the growth of our team's successes that we've had, we're also beginning to get more and more requests from outside agencies that didn't know much about the team before, They're saying, hey, can you come to our call in Sherwood? Can you come to our call in Tigard? And everybody has suggested that they, they could use more units out there if they were available. We knew that the deputies would learn about the resources that are available, but what we're finding is, is that they're actually learning how to intervene in situations. And then as they're rotated off the team, they're bringing that back through the rest of the organization. The same thing with the clinicians. They are helping the rest of the mental health world understand the law enforcement perspective and how to work with law enforcement. Overall, everyone has elevated their skill level and their knowledge. You know, Washington County and the van uh, is, is a unique approach to social issues. When you have the diversity of different agencies all sitting around a table, putting their heads together, trying to solve these issues, I think that's extremely unusual. And really, it's the spirit of Washington County.